Surface waves have the characteristic of both longitudinal and transverse waves. And the reason is, is because they do go up and down, right? Which is, it's very transverse. This is a very transverse look, right? But they also, um, if, you, if you discount tides and currents and all those things, if you have like a beach ball, and this is a beach ball, kind of looks more like a pizza. But if this was a beach ball, you know how they're like different colors or whatever. If you have a beach ball um, and there are no currents or no tides and there's just waves, the energy will go through, but the actual water particles or your beach ball will actually just float up and down and it'll stay right there. Um, if you think of like in a storm, you've got those buoys, they just stay right there and they float up and down. Um, and so the particles actually move both ways. You've got this um, perpendicular to motion, this up and down part, and then you've got this parallel part where they're just kind of staying in the same spot and it's just going, um, it's just um, moving kind of like a longitudinal wave. So that's surface waves.